Chapter 35 is called The Knight in Shining Armor. Despero was pondering the reverse of that question. He was wondering not what he would do with his tail, but what he would do without it. He was sitting on a bag of flour high atop a shelf in the pantry, crying for what he had lost. The pain in his hindquarters was intense and he wept because of it. But he also cried because he was happy. He was out of the dungeon. He had been recalled to life. His rescue had happened just in time for him to save the Princess P from the terrible fate that the rat had planned for her. So Despero wept with joy and with pain and with gratitude. He wept with exhaustion and despair and hope. He wept with all the emotions a young small mouse who had been sent to his death and then been delivered from it in time to save his beloved can feel. Readers, the mouse wept. And then he lay down on the sack of flour and slept. Outside the castle, the sun set and the stars came out one by one. And then they disappeared and gave way to the rising sun and still Despero slept. And while he slept, he dreamt. He dreamt of the stained glass windows and the dark of the dungeon. In Despero's dream, the light came to life, brilliant and glorious, in the shape of a knight swinging a sword. The knight fought the dark. And the dark took many shapes. First the dark was his mother, uttering phrases in French. And then the dark became his father, beating the drum. The dark was Furlo, wearing a black hood and shaking his head. No. And the dark became a huge rat, smiling a smile that was evil and sharp. The dark, Despero cried, turning his head to the left. The light, he murmured, turning his head to the right. He called out to the knight. He shouted, who are you? Will you save me? But the knight did not answer him. Tell me who you are, Despero shouted. The knight stopped swinging his sword. He looked at Despero. You know me, he said. No, said Despero, I don't. You do said the knight. He slowly took the armor off his head and revealed nothing. No one. The suit of armor was empty. No, oh no, said Despero. There is no knight in shining armor. It's all just make-believe like happily ever after. And in his sleep, readers, the small mouse began to cry. And that's the end of the chapter. What is Despero dreaming about? Yeah, he's dreaming about all the things that happened to him, right? His mother uttering phrases in French and his dad beating the drum to send him to the dungeon and his brother shaking his head no. And he dreams of a knight in shining armor, just like the one that he read about in the fairy tale. Except when the knight took off his armor, who was underneath it? Nothing. But the knight says to Despero, you know me. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be important later in the story. All right, let's keep reading.